Welcome back to ETV. This weekend at the movies, I got a question for you. What's scarier, a psychological ghost story, a comedy about cancer, or a mediocre romantic comedy? Here's Sean McBride, the movie guy, to tell us a little bit more. You live here and you don't know about the murders. What murders? As we creep towards October, this week sees the first of Hollywood's high-profile spooky films in the form of Dream House. Daniel Craig stars as a man who moves into a beautiful house with his family, only to find that it was the site of a gruesome murder. Everybody who lives in this house gets killed. Is the house haunted, or is there something else going on here? How many relationships do I have to have before I meet the right guy? Anna Ferris has another light and frothy romantic comedy in What's Your Number? This is the story of an unlucky in love woman who decides to revisit some of her ex-boyfriends to make sure that she didn't miss out on Mr. Right. You have cancer? They found it yesterday. They found it yesterday? Who found it? My cleaning lady found it in the back of my jeans. Who do you think found it? This week's best bet is 50-50. Starring Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen. This is the story of a young man who's diagnosed with cancer and his friends rally around him in this film that's a delicate balance of serious drama and very silly humor. I really think that a girl's gonna go for me just because I have cancer. For the millionth time, yes! I have cancer. I was wrong. Nice it was, it was weird. And that's what's going to the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ATV. And joining us now in studio to tell us more about it, Sean McBride, the movie guy. So what is your pick for the week? You know, it's a pretty good week at the movies, to be quite honest. Uh, I think the best one of the week is going to be 50-50. Really interesting film because it's all about cancer, so it's sort of, you know, dramatic. But it's also Seth Rogen, and it's, uh, you know, it's very funny. And it straddles that line between being black humor and sort of bro humor, right. but also having some good dramatic stuff. The, the TV campaign is, is pushing it as a comedy. It's much more dramatic than a comedy. I think it's a little misleading. But it is very good, and uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I just think he's one of the best actors working today. Very good. Uh, check that one out. But uh, don't, care, don't uh, forget about uh, Dreamhouse, mm -hmm. uh, particularly as we move into Halloween territory here. Yeah. That's the first of a bunch of uh, psychological thrillers. Uh, I, I won't say much about it, cause, but the trailers give it away, you know. But uh, it's sort of a ghost story slash psychological thriller. Uh, Daniel Craig, uh, Naomi Watts, or Rachel Weisz, good cast in that. And then also, um, the uh, what's your number? Anna Ferris romantic comedy. She doesn't make great romantic comedies, but I actually like her. I think she's very likable. So if you're looking for a romantic comedy, you'll want to check that out. And what do we got at the flicks? You know, we have some very good stuff at the flicks. One of my favorite films. Well, first, we should, there are two new films. Brighton Rock also is at the flicks. But one of my favorites, mm -hmm. uh, certainly my favorites from this year's South by Southwest Film Festival, uh, a midnight movie, just a whole lot of fun. It's called Attack the Block. Uh, basically, it's the story of um, aliens attack the London tenements, and it's the gangsters, you know, the gangbangers in London, that have to defend their, you know, their neighborhood. Just a whole lot of fun. I came back, I told Carol from, uh, she's the manager of the flicks, I said, you know, of all the films you've got to see, this is the one you have to schedule. She goes, yeah, everybody's been telling me that. So, Attack the Block is here. It's actually coming out on DVD in a couple of weeks, but go see them, theater. This is the it's, one to see. It's just a lot of fun. So, <laughs> um, let's move on to home DVD. And let's quickly get off home DVD because there's oh, really boy. nothing of note uh, other than Transformers, which is going to come out on Friday. So, but the rest of that stuff, I, I mean, I filled out the list, but really, there's nothing to talk about on home DVD. What about local theater? Uh, you want to check out Shipwrecked over at Boise Contemporary Theater, uh, or excuse me, Shipwrecked: The Amazing Adventures of Louis de Rougemont, as told by himself. It's sort of an old-timey uh, tale of. You know, of uh, a guy getting shipwrecked and stuff, and it's told as a you know sort of a Victorian piece of entertainment. So, uh, and it's perfectly appropriate for the entire family. It's sometimes Boise Contemporary Theater they do more adult fare, but this one is good for the entire family. Sounds good. So, uh, Boise Contemporary Theater or bctheater.org three three one nine two two four for tickets and information. Uh, also coming out this week, Tara mentioned it, but Blue Man Group uh, over at the Morrison Center. Uh, tickets and information, 426-1609 or newspaceentertainment.com. Gotta love the Blue Man Group. Yeah. Uh, really quickly, we also have Knock'em Dead Theater. They've got Oklahoma's going on through the 29th. Uh, tickets at kedproductions.org. 
the 39 steps, finally uh, finalizing their, you know, they're ending up their run at Idaho Shakespeare Festival. Uh, tickets at 336-9221 or idahoshakespeare.org. That's a really good show, so go check that one out at the Idaho Shakespeare Festival. They've had a great season. Oh, yeah. So, and then finally, Twilight over at Prairie Dog Theater. I a far say, you know, making fun of all things Twilight. <laughs> so, Dixon and information at pdplayhouse.com or 336 Pete. That sounds great. Well, it's a really great lineup of the live uh, theater this weekend. Plenty of theater for it. Sounds good. Well, thanks so much for the update there, Sean. Mm -hmm. Stick around. We got more.